Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 17 The Divisions of Faith There are three types of faith, corresponding to and evolving from the three modes of material nature. Acts performed by those whose faith is in passion and ignorance yield only impermanent material results, whereas acts performed in goodness, in accord with scriptural injunctions, purify the heart. Arjuna said, O Krishna, what is the situation of one who does not follow the principles of scripture, but worships according to his own imagination? Is he in goodness, in passion, or in ignorance? The Supreme Lord said, According to the modes of nature acquired by the embodied soul, one's faith can be of three kinds, goodness, passion, or ignorance. Now hear about these. According to one's existence under the various modes of nature, one evolves a particular kind of faith. The living being is said to be of a particular faith according to the modes he has acquired. Men in the mode of goodness worship the demigods. Those in the mode of passion worship the demons. And those in the mode of ignorance worship ghosts and spirits. Those who undergo severe austerities and penances not recommended in the scriptures, performing them out of pride, egotism, lust, and attachment, who are impelled by passion and who torture their bodily organs as well as the supersoul dwelling within, are to be known as demons. Even food, of which all partake, is of three kinds, according to the three modes of material nature. The same is true of sacrifices, austerities, and charity. Listen, and I shall tell you of the distinctions of these. Foods in the mode of goodness increase the duration of life, purify one's existence, and give strength, health, happiness, and satisfaction. Such nourishing foods are sweet, juicy, fattening, and palatable. Foods that are too bitter, too sour, salty, pungent, dry, and hot are liked by people in the modes of passion. Such foods cause pain, distress, and disease. Foods cooked more than three hours before being eaten, which is tasteless, stale, putrid, decomposed, and unclean, is food liked by people in the mode of ignorance. Of sacrifices, that sacrifice performed according to duty and to scriptural rules, and with no expectation of reward, is of the nature of goodness. But that sacrifice performed for some material end, or benefit, or performed ostentatiously, out of pride, is of the nature of passion, O chief of the Bharatas. And that sacrifice performed in defiance of scriptural injunctions, in which no spiritual food is distributed, no hymns are chanted, and no remunerations are made to the priests, and which is faithless, that sacrifice is of the nature of ignorance. The austerity of the body consists in this, worship of the Supreme Lord, the Brahmanas, the spiritual master, and superiors like the father and mother. Cleanliness, simplicity, celibacy, and nonviolence are also austerities of the body. Austerity of speech consists in speaking truthfully and beneficially and avoiding speech that offends. One should also recite the Vedas regularly. And serenity, simplicity, gravity, self-control, and purity of thought are the austerities of the mind. This threefold austerity, practiced by men whose aim is not to benefit themselves materially, but to please the Supreme, is of the nature of goodness. Those ostentatious penances and austerities, which are performed in order to gain respect, honor, and reverence, are said to be in the mode of passion. They are neither stable nor permanent. And those penances and austerities, which are performed foolishly by means of obstinate self-torture, or to destroy or injure others, are said to be in the mode of ignorance. The gift which is given out of duty, at the proper time and place, to a worthy person, and without expectation of return, is considered to be charity in the mode of goodness. But charity performed with the expectation of some return, or with a desire for fruitive results, or in a grudging mood, is said to be charity in the mode of passion. And charity performed at an improper place and time, and given to unworthy persons, without respect and with contempt, is charity in the mode of ignorance. From the beginning of creation, the three syllables, Om, Tat, Sat, have been used to indicate the supreme absolute truth, Brahman. They were uttered by Brahmanas while chanting Vedic hymns and during sacrifices for the satisfaction of the supreme. Thus, the transcendentalists undertake sacrifices, charities, and penances, beginning always with Om, to attain the Supreme. 
one should perform sacrifice, penance, and charity with the word tat. The purpose of such transcendental activities is to get free from the material entanglement. The absolute truth is the objective of devotional sacrifice, and it is indicated by the word sat. These works of sacrifice, of penance, and of charity, true to the absolute nature, are performed to please the Supreme Person, O Son of Pertha. But sacrifices, austerities, and charities, performed without faith in the Supreme, are non-permanent, O Son of Pertha, regardless of whatever rites are performed. They are called asat, and are useless both in this life and the next.